What is up guys, so we're here today with another fantastic team. Today we're going to talk about the team that surprised me and it's a really, really good team. Of course I'm talking about the team of Sylveon, Lapras, Conkeldor, Dusclops, Talonflame and Ferrothorn made by Zack. He called it a good stuff because it is a good stuff and of course the code is down there below. You can check it out. Like it's there. Like it's right over there next to this beautiful, beautiful Grookey. So what are the leads? What are the backs? Let's talk about that. So the lead always Lapras, Shell Armor, Life Orb, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Freeze Dry and Protect, you Gigantamax it, you go for G-Max Resonance and have Aurora Veil that protects you from physical and uh, of course it lowers the damage that you know physical and special attacks are dealing to your Pokemon. Then for the speed, depending on the matchup, there are two options for us. One is Dusclops with Frisk, Evil Light, Nightshade, Pain Split, Trick Room and Haze. So of course you kind of know that this is a G-Max Resonance into a Trick Room turn one. Or instead of Dusclops, we got a Talonflame with Gale Wings, Focus Sash, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Taunt and Tailwind. So again, you kind of know it's G-Max Resonance and a Tailwind for the speed. So depending on what you're going to face, right? if you're going to face a water type heavy team, uh, or the team that can really easily knock out the Talonflame, you're of course gonna go with Dust Clubs. But if you feel like you're, you're seeing a more grass type of a deal, or the fact that, you know, Talonflame can be handy a bit more, of course you go with the Tailwind. Let's not forget that uh, not only Dust Club has a Haze, but also Talonflame has a Taunt, so it does help when your opponent has Dust Clubs, for example. Then the back. The back that I was using the most was Ferrothorn and Conkeldor, but also, you know, the Sylveon uh, is kind of a technical here for the particular matchup. So, again, we got a Ferrothorn with Iron Barbs, Assault Vest, Gyro Ball, Power Whip, Body Press, and Knockoff. Of course, I was using the most of Power Whip here. And Conkeldor with Guts Ability and Flame Orb on it with Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Mac Punch, and Detect. And let me tell you, Mac Punch is just absolutely amazing and a great attack that you really want to use. But if there is a problem, you know, if there is something that, well, a Sylveon would be able to do, then I would recommend just going, you know, instead of Conkeldor, then Sylveon. So you have a Ferrothorn and Sylveon back, and Sylveon, of course, Pixelate with Pixie Plate, so you're boosting the stats, Protect, Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire, and Moonblast. So quite, you know, the usual, the usual uh, Sylveon. Again, there's not a lot more to talk about that team. You want to set it up early on, right? Turn one, G Max Resonance into either Talent or Trick Room, and then you're pretty much set up for the whole game, and you just keep on attacking and you're reacting to what your opponent is doing on the board. It's pretty standard team. Again, it's uh, one of those Lapras G Max teams that was really popular back in April, in March, and it's just slowly coming back to the brand new meta. So let's move on to the gameplay portion and see how the team actually works in the meantime thank you guys so much for don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that and let's go to the gameplay portion you see there you go I mean I like a good joke like if there if the joke is good I like it but it has to be good right it, it can't be you know, like a bad one <laughs> me go low <laughs> That's a good name. Let me go, lol. Oh, Alright, so Talonflame. Yeah, we're just gonna go and knock out Talonflame. Like, I know G-Max Resonance is enough, so Trick Room as well. Let's go. And it's a knocker. Of course it's a knocker, right? So every single time that knocks out Talonflame. Perfect. 
Oh, the button is set up. Uh, I'm running Tailwind and Trick Room in order to adapt to. Yeah. Or over centralizing. Ever since Series 6, I hear uh, them from. I mean, it definitely is weird, but. I feel like now they've done a good job with the bannings. I just wish they would also think about, you know, banning a bit of water type, so... Because, like, water type is dominating. Alright. And a nightshade. Like you've got Dracovish, uh, Lapras, you know, Water Uchifu. Yeah. <laughs> No, but, but, like, but the decision was weird, right? Because like, they literally went, like, let's ban top 10 used mods. And it's not always like that, you know. I can agree with, like, a Cinderace and, like, a few others, but, like, Dragapult, well... I don't know, you know. Um, again, I thought when they were announcing bans and when I first uh, saw the list, I was like, oh, there's definitely going to be Lapras there. Unlike the other things, but not really. I mean, yeah, they tell me they banned the Gary Dives, but that's it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I can. Then, like water type, I'm just talking about you know mainly about 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 uh, Lapras. There we go, we got a Rotom. Two more to go. We're halfway done. Alright. Now the barb is gonna work. There we go. What's our last mod? Show yourself. Ushifu. Yeah, let's get a Ushifu. Okay, he's on top protect, sure. None of my attacks are going that way, so Furton, Power Whip. And this should do it, because that's a glass cannon Urshifu, there, it's exactly that. Why is it a glass cannon? Because he is, right? Special attacks, like, you can touch him, like, barely touch him with a special attack. And he's dead, he's, he's gone, he's knocked out. No more. And a night trade. Alright, you know, okay. Avoided it. Two HP. My goodness. I mean, there's nothing worse than you know. On the attack, and your opponent's mon is you know is there sitting with two HP. Okay, bulldoze. Right, not a bad idea. I mean, no, that's it, right? Night shade.
Du, 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 du. Do you want to check now? You kind of gave Erema a reason to hunt down, you know, parrots. And it'll be like, you know, honey, what are you doing with this parrot? It's not a parrot, it's an internet killer. We gotta get it out of our house. Or a reason, you know, for many people to not buy a parrot. Or not allow their uh, neighbors to, to have a parrot. Killer Pirate, I want to see this. I mean, again, we have a comic book where a Thor is a frog, so I think we're not far away from that, you know? In all its honesty, I think we're not far away. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's like a co full comic book, so the Thor is being uh, switched to 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 uh, into Thor. Actually, you can have this in a Thor number issue number three of 2020 uh, run. That they have it in the back. So the Thor is like a small Thor, and he, you know, he's like slowly crow. Like he can speak English still, and the frogs speak English. So there's a problem that frog have. And you know he like goes around, and finally he finds his Mjolnir. So he goes there, he touches the Mjolnir, and the Mjolnir shrinks to his size. He has the full outfit. I mean, I'm gonna find it. Um, and he becomes a Frog Thor. It's absolutely amazing, and I loved every. I mean, I laughed so. Like, this is the article about the movie, but it just says that they should do, in the movie, a frog tour. I mean, the art is great. I mean, it's a really and it's a really good comic book. Like, actually, the story is quite good, and it made me care about the frogs. Like, I did care about the frogs and you know their little life. So yeah, I I wouldn't say that that's like out of the conversation. So, highly recommend if you have like a comic book store near you. Uh, one of the stories is in Thor issue number three from this year, which came, which third print was released uh, August twenty something. So it's super cheap. Um, and brave bet on the fable. Yeah, she's gonna do a color me. Now Brave Bird, so that should be a knockout, and I'm also gonna have a knock on Dragable. So Brave Bird, come on, be a Brave Bird, be like a parrot. Thank you. That should be a new slogan, be like a parrot. There we go. Oh. 
I mean, no, I want to win. I mean, come on. I want to win. So it better be like a parrot. Yes, there is. I believe there is. I mean, definitely, yes. It's just a matter of what, what was its name. I'm like 100% there is, but there has to be. And Flat Blitz. I mean, Halucha... Mm, I mean, no. The Halucha is not a parrot. Shut up, there we go. Ferrothorn. Oh. And bulk up, great. So I got seeded. Hmm. All right, let's go. All in. Well, he has still wait. There's he still has one more. No. Okay, there we go. So freeze dry. Let's charge. I mean, all in. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not. I need one more turn. Yeah. I mean, I got a Conkeldur in the back, so... Is it a Conkeldur? I think it is a Conkeldur. So I'm not, you know, that scared of it. But that's one bulky for a ton. Hmm. Alright. So, it's gonna be a Furton versus Furton, but this one has a body press, so I should be fine. And I'm just gonna go Drain Punch. Yeah, it, it wore off, uh, but no, it was my own. No, 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 it was my own. I've used Aurora Veil, so it was not my opponent's, it was mine. So he was bulky again, you know. He's just bulky. <laughs> right, so yeah, so Veil was mine. But not bulky enough for the man, the myth, the conqueror. Bulk of thorn. <laughs> Bull thorn. Yeah. All right. Let's have one more game. Come on. One more game, one more shot, and yeah, that might be it. I mean, dude, you made my day with the parrot. You literally made my day. Oh, that parrot made my day, because... I think you had a pick rom in your... No, I can tell you how it came up. Okay, I can tell you how I came up with it. Um... I was just saying random English words with my name. So
so I was like, okay, there was a rock. What, what else can be? And I just literally went with like, you know, um, first types of, of Pokemon. So it's like, lightning. Oh, that's good. Then I was like, huh, but what can we go with? Um, so I went with, you know, with like, poison. No, that, 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 that seems wrong. No, this. I'm like, lightning seems good. But what else? And I'm like, I mean, there's like, there's voltage coming out. Like, let's do a voltage. Like, oh yeah, that's not bad. That sounds cool. So yeah, it's just literally, you know, that's how it came to be. So yeah. I was like, literally, you know, throwing random stuff and it was not, you know, peak run, nothing. It was just like literally random stuff. You live! Hey, 101. How's it going, dude? Hello. How are we doing? So, yeah, I, I wouldn't, like, you know, look deep into in, into that. Um, but it's going to be a weekend series, so every weekend I'm going to have, like, Saturday and Sunday an episode of the WWE. So the week is going to be Assassin's Creed, and then, you know, weekend is going to be uh, wrestling. So it's yeah, it, it should be fun. We got talent flight, all right. I'm doing great, thank you so much, Ross. I'm doing really, really good. Uh, with okay, mm. I'm just gonna go through protect. Um. Flablets. So I'm doing really good. Um, that's probably the last game of the stream right now. I don't have to prepare for work. Uh, I just have to. Oh, I, I hate that. I just have to check how it works for today. What can I say? Any certain shield news regarding the DLC? No, at least I don't know yet. Uh, it's come out. It's coming out in uh, in November. That's all we know. I mean, I can check a uh, like a guardian, but I don't think we got anything. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, Close to max. Oh no, okay, that's just alright. That's just. Um... Oh, wait, so Champion's Path. Okay, so Champion's Path is gonna be released on different dates. So, not every Champion's Path collection is gonna be on the same date. Like, that's what I can tell you right now for TCJ. So, I think that's a new, that's a news for, 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 for Rema. Um, and yeah, nothing else. So Ram, um, you gotta check out when the when the water type is coming out, and also why they don't have you on the cover. Which again, I I call I call BS. Yeah, so different gym leader is gonna come out on a different date, which is really, really interesting. Like, you can see that in the link that I've just posted. So, it's gonna come out from September to October. So, the whole, like, there's a month period. Like, there's some uh, that come out in November, even. So, what they wanna do is, like, you know, they want you to purchase all, like, slowly, so, you know, you can be able to challenge everything. You know, to get all the challenges, all those badges. Um, it does make sense. But, like, the problem is that... Beside the Charizard... Yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, Rama, there you go, the link. That's official TCGPokemon.com. So, again, if you click on the link, 
Um, of course, you see Nessa because uh, I think she's the first one. So September 25th, you're gonna have Grass, Water, and Fire. Then on November 13th, you're gonna have Fairy, Psychic, and Dragon. And on November, on October 2nd, you're gonna have ETB uh, and like dual boxes and pin collections and oh, September also have double and like yeah you have all the dates there so so at least water type is coming out now for you <laughs> right but I mean it's a cool idea to have a product being released almost every month slowly up until the, the vivid voltage I like that idea yeah so it's like not you know dropping everything at one point it's like slowly doing it and I think it's a cool idea honestly I, I like that it's a mini set so instead of like dropping everything in one time you know you're just gonna slowly do that but then the problem is that because there is this Charizard People are gonna go crazy, especially you know, in the early stages, and they're gonna just purchase a ton of it because they want to have a Charizard right now, so they can grade and they can sell before the next. Like, it's kind of you know, it's gonna be hit and miss. But I feel like you know. I can imagine they would say like, hey, let's say, you know, there is this percentage of the chance getting, you know, Charizard in this, uh, in this drop. Then next month, you know, maybe 5% higher rate. Then another 5% higher rate. They can do that as well. But, <laughs> I don't know, man, like, it's an interesting concept, but if there was no Charizard, I think it would, it would work better. But who knows? But at the same time, we've won. So I think it's a good time to actually... Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing, right? If you enjoy the team, uh, don't forget to click the sub button, right? We're also testing those teams live on Twitch. It's Raven Call Central. Link is down there below. You can check it out. And I'll say thank you so much for everything you're doing, for just being here, you know, comments, uh, subscriptions, right? They do help a lot. You know, they do help this channel grow. So thank you guys so, so, so much with everything. And if you're playing trading card game, there are some codes down there below. Uh, actually, the 5% discount code. So you want to check that out. So thank you guys so, so, so much. So you guys live on Twitch is twitch.tv slash ravencoldsnatchku and yeah or you know uh, if you want to see me playing different games you got Pokemon Couple Floor Plays right so Pokemon Couple Plays YouTube channel also link down there below and the review stuff is there so thank you guys so much for watching goodbye Mwah. good night Raven loves you take care bye have fun with the team bye